Tattoos are visual reminders of ourselves in a place and time. They're living artwork and they carry a lot of memories, but sometimes you just don't want Victoria's name on your arm anymore. <laughs> Hello there, rebels and normals. Thank you for watching D News Today. I'm Trace. Tattooing is thousands of years old. The oldest known intact human body, the Utsi Iceman, has tattoos, and he is over 5,000 years old. Tattoos have a dark history, literally dark, because they used to only come in one color, black, and they were used for spiritual or healing purposes, they were used to show status or for fashion. They've been done with sharpened rocks, sticks, metal tools, and other implements, anything to just get that ink into the skin. The tattoo machine we know today was invented in the late 1800s and was based on Thomas Edison's automatic engraving machine. It uses a solid needle to inject ink into the skin from 50 to 3,000 times in a minute. The machine injects a drop of insoluble ink under the top layer of skin, the epidermis, and into the more stable dermis, about one millimeter down. The ink molecules cannot be digested by macrophage immune cells, and instead, the cells consume the ink and then just kind of adopt the pigment and just hang out, which is why tats don't break down too much over time. That being said, 45 million Americans have tattoos, and according to the American Society for Dermatological Surgery, 100,000 people got tattoo removal in 2011 alone, up 20% from 2010. Tattoo removal is a huge industry because of how tattoos work. The most well-known way to remove a tattoo is laser removal, which uses specialized laser light to degrade the ink molecules. Each laser treatment requires six or more weeks of healing, and each color in the tattoo requires a different laser light wavelength to break it down. Neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet, or alexandrite lasers, work for blue and black inks, for example, but less well for red inks. There are over 1,000 inks on the market, and the dermatologists doing the removal rarely know which one was used in the original tattoo. Once the treatment breaks them down, the body's macrophages can eat up the now smaller broken inky bits. Laser removal is sort of like a pencil eraser. The darker and thicker it is, the harder it is to erase, and the more sessions it can take, not to mention if the wrong wavelength of laser is used, permanent scarring can occur. Other methods include dermabrasion, which is essentially scouring or sanding off the tattoo with a high-speed brush or diamond phrase wheel. Both the epidermal and the dermis are removed in this case, resulting in the destruction of the tattoo, and it sounds savage, but it's commonly used to remove other types of scarring and skin damage. The worst way is to simply surgically remove the piece of skin that contains the tattoo. Yikes. Now though, there is a fourth way. Alec Falconum, a researcher in Halifax, Canada, is working on a simple topical cream. The cream is put onto the tattoo and reportedly causes no abrasions, no blisters, no inflammation, because Basically, it doesn't actually target the tattoo itself at all, but the macrophages. The cream causes new macrophages to come in and consume the pigmented hangy outy macrophages from before. That spirits them away into the lymph nodes and then they can be tossed away. Over time, the tattoo is naturally eaten away, literally, and it is not quite ready for public use, so don't get too excited. He's currently testing the cream on pig's ears. In the end, the Mayo Clinic warns that tattoos are permanent. Yes, lasers, dermabrasion, surgery, and maybe this cream might someday help remove them, but overall, they're permanent. Do you have a tattoo? Tell us about it down below in the comments. Make sure you share it with us on Twitter as well. You can come find us at DNews. And subscribe. Our friends over at BuzzFeed also make awesome videos. I don't think I have to tell you that. They love cats and gifts and stuff, but they also love science. Here's a video they did about do-it-yourself teeth whitening. Click the first link in the description to watch. And thank you for tuning into DNews.